man. Oh, well, huh. I think this week has been, you know, obviously, I'll be stating the obvious, it's been a very special week. But to have an opportunity to complete the slam here at St. Andrews and to have everything, ironically enough, come down to this tournament, the Open Championship at St. Andrews, the home of golf. And it's, it's been a very special weekend and something that I will never, ever forget. In the modern era, only five male golfers have ever won all four majors to complete the career Grand Slam. No other player has achieved the feat in the 18 years since Tiger Woods lifted the claret jug for the first time. 65 years earlier, his fellow American Gene Sarazen became the first man to complete the slam. He capped off a fine career with victory at the Masters in 1935, three years on from his solitary Open Championship triumph. 18 years passed before Sarazen had company in the career Grand Slam Winners Club. In 1953, Ben Hogan demonstrated his incredible powers of recovery. Just four years on from a life-threatening head-on collision with a Greyhound bus that left him with multiple fractures and severe blood clots, Hogan dominated the world of golf once again, winning three of the game's four majors. Had the Open that year not clashed with the PGA Championship, Hogan might have become the first player ever to win all four majors in one calendar year, something still not achieved to this day. We didn't have to wait too long before a third man matched the achievements of Messrs. Sarazen and Hogan. In 1965, Gary Player won the US Open, one of his six major wins on American soil, to become the first player under the age of 30 to complete the slam and the first non-American to do so. Player's first major triumph had come at the Open in 1959, and he went on to lift the claret jug twice more. Only three male golfers have won more majors than the South African, who reached a grand total of nine. A happy scene to see a man so openly delighted. But just a year later, Jack Nicklaus would break Player's record. Aged just 26, he became the youngest man to complete the slam, winning the Open for the first time at Muirfield, just months on from his third Masters triumph. And here, surely, is the last stroke of the Open Championship of 1966. The only remaining important championship that he'd never won. Jack Nicklaus is the Open champion of 1966. Remarkably, Jack completed the slam three times over and to this day remains four ahead of Woods at the top of the list of all-time major winners. My goodness, a bit of a tight squeeze over the Swilkin Burn. Like the lemmings. Nicholas may have won more majors than Woods to date, but when the Big Cat completed the slam at St Andrews at just 24, he did so at a younger age than even the Golden Bear. He likes to break people's records. Oh, well done. A decade may have passed since Woods's most recent major triumph, but his recent return to fitness begs the question, can he win major number 15? Three still active players are just one major away from emulating Tiger and co. Next week on Golfing World, we'll take a close look at Phil Mickelson, Rory McIlroy and Jordan Spieth, all with eyes on completing the career Grand Slam.